Lion's mane. Lion's mane. Wife. Hello everybody. I'm going to be doing this video in two parts today. Um, the first part, me and Summer were out three days ago. We didn't really find too much, so I didn't want to just make one video. I'm going to show everything from the first part of the video, and then I'm going to uh, edit in the second half of the video. I'm out here by myself today. So, uh, yeah, let's see what happens. We are out here on an adventure. Just rained yesterday uh, from Nicole. Uh, definitely too soon for much of anything to start growing, but uh, we did already find some fresh little baby lion's mane. And saw my old ones back there. Um, I'm not familiar with what these are. I did get some good pictures. Some type of polypore, obviously. Um, I might have found these before, but I don't remember if I did. But once I get some good service, I will look up what they are for sure and get in my book. This is another one I just found. Uh, when I first was walking up to it, I thought it might have been cinnabar at first, but it's definitely not nearly as orange. Um, don't think I've ever found these before either. Sometimes I find out, figure out what those are. Unbelievable how fast uh, mushrooms can grow. It just rained, you know, it started raining not last night, but the night before that morning. And, I mean, it only takes a day, some of these things just start popping out of it everywhere. Probably a couple days from now, it's supposed to get a bit colder, but a couple days from now, I'll probably gonna find a lot more. That's a new spot I just found. It's just a baby. Hopefully it gets bigger. So I do believe this is the destroying angel. Yeah, you don't want to eat this one. No. Squirrel. Just found a really nice cluster of oysters <clears throat> on this log right off the trail here. Um, these aren't really too old. These. I just came through here the other day and these weren't here, so um, even though some of these bottom ones look a little brown and gross, these these ones are nice and I could definitely take these, but I'm going to leave them here. I just found this log that's covered in puffballs now. These are way too old, but uh, yeah, if you find them a little bit earlier, um, they're actually white on the inside. And uh, I believe people eat these. I never tried it myself. I wish I had a dollar for every time I found one of these things. There's a cool log over there though. It might have stuff on it. Yeah, not, not really. This is a new one to me. Um, almost stepped on this little guy. I didn't really see him. He's got a couple of little friends hiding. Don't look too good. But yeah, this little cluster of them hiding the leaves. I'm not sure what this is. I might have found these before, but I'll have to go back and look. This is another one I'm not really sure of. Um, not sure if this is some type of brittle stem. Find them on these logs. I'm only picking these mushrooms because I need to get uh, pictures of their underside so I can go back and try to figure out what these are but I don't think I've seen these before. So I was able to stop and look up what these were. And I'm not saying I never found these before, but for the longest time I didn't mess with little brown mushrooms. Um, but apparently these are, from what I understand, what I found are funeral bells. These are deadly toxic mushrooms. Um, I've never cataloged them before. Like I said, it, I don't really mess with little brown ones if you're new to foraging, I recommend you don't mess with little brown mushrooms. Um, yeah, don't don't eat these. <laughs> and um, these other ones I found, these ones I have found before, these are scarlet hoods, old scarlet hoods. So they're a little bit yellow, they lost their reddish, but I have found these before when they're younger, they're a lot more red. So that's why I, I thought they looked familiar, but uh, yeah, that's what they are, scarlet hood. So unfortunately, um, the temperatures dropped 
about 20 degrees from when me and Summer were out here Saturday to this week. It's supposed to be really cold. It's been cold at night. Uh, so Lions Main Lake, 60 degree, lower 70 degree temps. And we're, we're in the 50s now, and it's really cold at night. All the Lions Main I left the other day are brown and they're dying. I did find some other stuff today, but you know I'm really, really trying to get some more Lions Main before it's too late. Last year I was finding Lions Main in late December because it just got warm out of nowhere. It'll probably do that again. I think it'll do that again. Anyway, thank you all for watching and hopefully you see me again soon.